Pastor Hal York and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 8. I hate asking for directions. The main reason being I've done it before and it seldom works. Local people assume way too much when they're giving directions to strangers. I need more than hand signals. Sitting in the car watching and listening to the waving and pointing and mumbling. I, I think he said, when you leave here, turn right and go past 23 stoplights, then turn left. At the next intersection, take a sharp right. You go past five gas stations, and when you come to the fork in the road, take it. The place you're looking for will be on your right side, just down a few blocks. And then you'll hear those four words you hate to hear and you hope no one else in the car heard. You can't miss it. As soon as those words are out of the, our friend's mouth, there are bets being taken in the back seat that Dad will miss it. And sure enough, that place I couldn't miss, I missed it. Now that I have a GPS in the car, I no longer need to ask for directions. And fortunately, the voice that talks to me on my GPS has been programmed to be polite, unlike those in the back seat. When I miss a turn, it simply says recalculating, which means in GPS language, you missed it, stupid. Well, chapter 1 of Proverbs from chapter 8 and 9 could be titled The Call of Wisdom. If you could summarize what God is telling us about finding wisdom, it would simply be this. You can't miss it. Does not wisdom call? It's not silent. Does not understanding raise her voice? It wants to be heard. Beside the gates in the inside of town where everybody gathers on a regular basis, in the market she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy street just people travel by, at the entrance of the portal she cries out, listen to me. All these indicate that if we want wisdom, wisdom is not playing hard to get. Wisdom is not hiding. Wisdom is not obscure. Wisdom is not out of reach. Wisdom is not mumbling incoherently. Wisdom is right in front of us. Well, then what's the problem? How do we miss it? The problem has to do with what we love and delight in more than wisdom. Proverbs 5 says, O simple ones, learn prudence. O fools, learn sense. The person given instructions, yes, we see their lips move, but we're not paying attention to the words. We're distracted. We're disgusted that someone would think I should ask for, have to ask for directions. We think they don't know what they're talking about. We're wondering as they're giving us these directions, are they just messing with my head? Can I trust them? Wisdom is a hard issue. We have no excuse for living without God's wisdom, but we need to remember that God does not give wisdom to the curious. He gives wisdom to the humble, obedient, and hungry heart. Hardness of heart leads to ignorance of God's truth and wisdom. People cannot hear wisdom because they're not listening for it. They're not looking for it. They are in love with the sound of their own voice. They are in love with their own sinful lifestyles. There's no fear of God before their eyes. They love darkness rather than light. Ephesians 4.18 says, They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardness of their heart. But to the humble believer seeking to honor and glorify God in his daily life, God gives this wonderful promise in James 1, 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, then it will be given him. But let him ask in faith without no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So if any of us lack wisdom as a parent, in our marriage, in our job, on our, in our trial, in our Christian life, with issues we're facing, let him ask God, who gives generously. You see, wisdom cries aloud. Wisdom cries clearly. Wisdom cries everywhere. It's found in the Word of God. The Bible says that we are in Christ if we know Christ is our Savior, and in Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. What a wonderful promise. So the Bible says that if we're looking sincerely, honestly, truthfully, humbly for wisdom, you can't miss it. You can't miss it. Thank God for that wonderful promise. If any of us lack wisdom, let him ask of God. May this truth guide us and guard us 
as we seek to honor him and glorify him in the trenches of life. May God bless.